What is happening guys, my name is Alex and welcome to a new video, welcome to a new Sony Vase tutorial rather. It's Wednesday, so it's a new video for you guys and in this video I'm going to show you guys like how to edit like a boss and you can understand a lot of different things under like like how to edit like a boss. So I'm just going to explain to you guys how to actually just edit like a professional, like a boss, how you want to call this. The first thing is when you do, when you're going to editing, you just want to make that you are just editing with discipline because if you're making content like I, like I do, there are always some things you need to take care of in order to make the quality as the same as your previous videos or your upcoming videos. So let's say I'm just gonna drag in a, a simple video in here. I'm just gonna drag a raw recording of Adobe Audition into it. I'm just gonna drag it in, uh, as you can see right here. So it's this one. Okay, so as you can see, this is this raw and uncut. It is like, you know, me, um, like making myself ready and everything to to be, to be able to record so as you can see I just pressed on record and I and I'm stand and I'm starting the video right here So in this entire space, I'm just making myself ready as you can see like this Hey guys, how are we all doing? And, I'm just, and then, then I just start. So every time I make a video I always do brightness and contrast. I drag that onto the track and I just pick one of my presets the one that looks best That's a little bit too light uh, this is perfect. Boom, that's it. That's the first one. The next thing you want to do is also you maybe use some color correction. That's what I do. I'm just going to drag it onto the track. And as you can see on this one, it is just, I'm just going to click this one. That's just my preset. I don't, I have the weirdest names for those presets. doesn't matter. And then basically that's how your video is going to look and how they are going to look all the same, of course. Okay, so let's say this is just a raw uncut footage. And people let's say, okay, I'm, I'm going to make a cut in here. And then I'm just gonna start editing blah, blah, blah. Uh, because I see a lot of people like blah blah blah. And let's say the people are wanna add, like oh I wanna add color correction and you wanna add it on this. You just wanna pick the preset and as you can see, the, you know, let's say you just wanna pick the preset as you can see on this one. And you're editing Doing and you're my like this is, is your Alex screen and, and then to Adobe boom. Edition CSX tutorial. And the most people forgot about the other clips of color correction. So this one is really good and you know, edit it and then it goes to an Adobe see, edition. Boom, it just go Adobe. back to the normal one. And that's something you need to take care of and you, you need to notice in your video to be able to make the content just as good as you possibly can. Because I see a lot of people like also having one sound really uh, like this, one sound really low and then j this one just that it's gonna clip. So you just wanna actually just, m just Make sure your video is consistent and not like this. You're it's editing, it looks really cool, Adobe Adobe and then you're just ignoring the color correction Adobe thing, Adobe and then it's CSX just gonna change the look. And people are gonna notice that in the video. People that are watching this for the first time, you want those to, you want those people to keep watching this video, and you can do that just by adding editing with discipline and make sure everything is is just consistent. I say what you can do is you can just drag in the footage again entirely. You don't need to stop editing. But I'm just gonna drag in the footage. As you can see, as you can see, this really long one track. This let's see how almost seven minute long video. Um, let's say just want to when you okay. So when you drag this in, don't start editing right right away because you're gonna forget certain things. So let's say because now everything is in one piece. So if you're finished editing and you have like five hundred different different pieces, you don't want to add color correction to all separate those. So what you can do is drag in the the actual uh, a raw uncut video. Don't start editing yet. Just go to brightness and contrast. Just drag it onto it. Pick your preset. I'm just gonna pick this one. Also, pick your color correction. I'm gonna drag it on this, and I'm gonna pick this one. As you can see, boom. And then that's gonna be for the entire video. So no matter, let's, I'm gonna show you guys. Like, no matter how how much you're cutting, it's all gonna be the same. And that's basically how you. It's not like edit how to like a boss, but just you need to edit like to you need. To, I think because I want to recommend uh, the things you need to do in order to make your quality as high as it possibly can. And even though you can just write it down like color correction, brightness, and contrast, then when you're done editing, you have done everything on your list, and then all the viewers are going to be the same quality. And that's how you should be able to edit like a boss. So basically, that's it for this one Vegas tutorial, guys. If you want to see more of those videos every Wednesday at 12 p.m. PST, make sure to subscribe down below. Make sure to smash that like button down below. So I want to thank you guys for watching for the continuous support and you know con and supporting me till um the goal that i reached like getting verified on youtube it, it means the world to me so i want to thank you guys for that thank you for sticking around i'll see you guys next wednesday for a new video so until then i'll see you guys very soon
Okay, so the first thing is that you don't want to do in your car, playing around with your cell phone. Drop comments down below and I'll be more happy to make a video about it. My own clothing line, through the description down below. Even if you're not a subscriber, correctly and quickly. Twitter and verification process, you can find a link down below. I'm done with this kind of shit. Opportunity is there. As long as you guys keep watching my videos, I will keep making them.